Welcome back, everyone, to Brisbane here in Queensland. We are downtown just off the banks of the Brisbane River here inside the iconic Suncorp Stadium. It's the return of the Nitro World Games after a three-year hiatus. And as I mentioned before, finding a new home here this season on Australian soil. Two events in the books, four more to go. Coming up next, we've got BMX Triple Hits brought to you by none other than Brisbane, Queensland. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth. I am now joined by Todd Mine, who is going to be calling the action with me out here today. And well, we have been waiting a long, long time for this one because we haven't actually contested this event at the Nitro World Games. You gotta go all the way back to 2017 when we were at Rice Eccles Stadium, all the way back in Utah. We broke off for a couple of years. We did some park competitions inside this California Training Center. So it's been a long time since we've had these ramps back out here at the Nitro World Games. But right now, let's send it down to the floor with Caroline Buchanan and Travis Pastrana. We're down here in the middle of the floor of Suncorp Stadium. The sun is out, the event is firing, and I'm down here with none other than himself, Travis Pastrana. This is your vision, Nitro World Games. Tell us about the history and how we got here. Oh, this is the big air of action sports. All these riders have been throthing to get out there and do stuff that's never been done, stuff that they've never done and stuff that no one else has ever seen. So many riders from BMX to skate to scooter are trying tricks that literally no one in the world has ever thought of. You can't even do it in video games. So thank you all for coming back. The sun is out today. Let's get it on. And we are about to kick off with BMX triples. What is it that people love about this course behind us? You know, this is a really awesome event because you have three best trick events back to back to back. They have to be absolutely spot on. Definitely a crowd favorite, one that I love seeing. And then what's really cool is you got R. Willie, who just came from Scooters. He's doing this over here, and then he's got Big Air later. The trifecta, absolutely awesome. Cannot wait to see what they all throw down. And a local hero, Olympic gold medalist, this is going to be awesome. Get behind the riders and give it up for Travis Pastrana, everyone. I'm going to send it back to you guys. Okay, so there you go. Todd, mine, take it away. Take a look at that start list. Talk us through it. Who are your standouts here today? Without a doubt, my favorite standout is Logan Martin. He is now an Olympic gold medal. BMX just debuted in the Olympics. He took home the win, but we have a heavy list, the list of riders. David Godiak, Brandon Lupos, Pat Casey, Kieran Riley. He's also a new guy to the sport in terms of coming to these contests. He is, without a doubt, going to be throwing down some massive bangers. Justin Dow, Daniel Sandoval, they've made their way over from the USA, and I cannot wait to see what goes down. Yeah, and as Travis said, it's kind of like a best trick contest, but you've got to do it three times in a row. I mean, the, you've got to have the big tricks, but the hits come three in a row right here. And I mean, what we saw at the inaugural season in 2016 and then the follow-up year in 2017 inside the Rice Cycle Stadium in Salt Lake City, Utah, I mean, it was absolute mayhem out there. And you have a heavy hitter start list out here, a veritable who's who in the world of freestyle BMX. And this one, I always get a little extra wound up for this one, Todd. It is BMX triple hits brought to you by brisbane queensland queensland we are about to start it off with a young man out of omaha nebraska it's jacob theme he rides dirt and park won the pannonian challenge in croatia back in june earlier this year as well as the butcher jam in june in germany june of this year in both park and dirt yeah the thing with this contest as well jimmy is you know out there you have a lot of one trick hits these guys have to land their tricks perfectly in a row to hit the three jumps and uh, on the on the last jump there you have a resi set up so this is a little bit safer for the guys and this is where the big tricks are going to go down you can see everybody hanging out up there and athletes staging at the top of the rolling there just steely eyed looking down that rolling right there with the exception of ryan williams he's just got a big old smile on his face but here we go we started off first rider and it's jacob theme out of omaha nebraska he is dropping in 360 double downside whip into a quadruple tail whip into a 720 bar spin. Oh, just sliding out there. Just a little too much rotation on that seven right there and slides out on that res. He gets up, waving that one off to the fans right there. You can see you got a little bit of road rash on that one. That res will burn you up a little bit when you slide down that thing, Todd. It's definitely not nice falling on the res, even though it is a bit softer. But as you said, just seeing a perfect quad whip there mid set with with just a 720 bar has been unfortunately just overcooking it there a little bit, but we have many more runs for them to make up. 
Yeah, it is the best run that counts out here today in this event. And I believe at this point in time, we are down to two rounds of runs, if I am not mistaken. So we will have to look to the next round of runs there for Jacob right there. So he's going to clock in with a 44.33 for that first outing right there. It's always tough being the first guy in, Todd. Yeah, it's always tough being the first guy in uh, to kind of set the bar, you know. But uh, up next, we have a favorite of mine, Boyd Hilda. Uh, this guy's super tech, has lots of street skills. Starting off with a bar spin backflip right here. Uh, One-handed uh, one Superman seat grab into a quadruple truck driver. Wow. It's, that happened so fast right there. Boyd Hilder out of the Gold Coast. Your simple session 2022 BMX street runner back in June, and he also won best trick out there, Todd. Yeah, Boyd normally rides a lot of street, so he doesn't really compete too often in these kind of contests. So it's going to be cool to watch him compete this weekend. Big backflip bath in there. Into a Superman seat grab one-hander. Watch this one. So fast. It's the bar catch, bar catch, bar. It's in the middle of a 360 right there. So that'll put him up there in the low 70s. He's got a 71.33 here. Just our second rider in as we get ready to go back up to the top of the roll in here. Take a look at another Australian rider, Todd. This is Jake Walwork. He is a Ramp Fest local. He's also a carpenter, full-time carpenter, in, addi in addition to being a professional rider. Yeah, Jake uh, definitely has some big tricks in the bag, so I'm certainly expecting to see something pretty big here. He's the BMX Park winner in the 2018 Feast World Series Chengdu China event. He's dropping in. We got a massive double flip on the first set into a front flip tail whip into a 360 triple whip. That's an awesome run there for Jake. That double to start off was wild. It almost like he slowed down in the second rotation right there. We'll have to take another look at that one. But a big run right there for Jake Walwork here to open it up here in round one. This double flip was absolutely unreal. Spot is landing there on the first flip. Did you see how he kind of extended a little yeah. bit on that? Am I wrong to say that? No, a lot of guys on a double flip, you know, you kind of spot your landing coming around on that first rotation. But that, that was an unreal run. The double flip into a front flip tail whip. Not many dudes are doing that out here. And then finishing it off with a 360 triple whip. That was an awesome run there for Jake. I know he's going to be stoked with that one. So the judge is working off of a 100-point scale out here today. And we're into the high 80s here in the opening round. It's an 87.66 right there in round one here for Jake Wallwork. So nicely done there. So you get one in the books there, Todd, that takes the pressure off you a little bit, right? Moving on into that next round, taking a look at Ryan Williams coming off of a second place finish already today in the scooter best trick category. He happened to uh, walk out of here with the win both in 2016 and 2017 when we held BMX triple hits. Ryan also starting off with a double flip into a front flip no hander coming in on the last set. We've got a double back flip 360. That is absolutely out there doing that and especially to do it on a jump this big it's uh, not very often you see that trick get done on on a box jump this size you can see him pointing at his eyes right there maybe you got a little bit of sweat in his face right there i don't know he was talking to somebody as he rode away from that moment but let's take another look see what went wrong here todd the double flip spot that landing again on the first flip into a front flip no hander getting set up for that massive double back flip 360 on the last set unfortunately just coming up a little bit too short but that's what I was saying, Jimmy. You have to land perfect on all these jumps so you can get over the next one and and, and clear the jump. He unfortunately just come up a little bit short there. Yeah, a little under rotated and got the back tire on that knuckle landing right there. But he's got a smile on his face. He's already seen the podium once out here today over at Scooter. Best tricks with a 47.66 for him. So he's going to throw that one out and look to that uh, second round of runs. I mean, and that's tough too. You only get two runs. Uh, you don't have a lot of shots at it out here on the BMX triple hits. Going back up to the top as so we get set to welcome in Mr. Josh Matthews here. Lots of Instagram clips. This guy's got uh, big rotations, makes him look easy. He likes things like 1080s uh, and double backflips over spines as well as double flares. Double flipping straight off that first jump. It seems like that's a... Speaking of 1080s. Oh, unfortunately, just coming up a little bit short there on that 10. That was just another day at the office right there. He's so dancing. Second hit, you know what? I'll just do a 1080 right here. That, it was such a casual spin right there. Yeah, Josh is really good at 1080s too. So I just think, unfortunately, he landed a little bit low on that double flip, which didn't set him up good enough for that 10. 
So he too will have to look to that second and final round of runs right there. Take another look. A double flip. Just getting a little bit uneasy there on that landing, which just threw his spin off there on the 1080. But as you're saying, Jimmy, there's two runs. Best run counts. So he has another shot to make up for that. I mean, he had the height. The rotation was there. Just a little too over amped there, Todd. A little too anxious. Yeah, as I was saying, Jimmy, it just kind of looked like he just didn't kind of land as good as what he wanted to on that first jump. Okay, we go back up to the top and welcome in our first Polish rider here, David Godziak. This is your X Games 2022 BMX Dirt Gold medalist, by the way. Dropping in into a 360 double bar spin, into a cash roll. What do we have in the last set? And a triple whip to finish off. I don't think he got quite what he wanted on that first jump, Jimmy. Let's see if we can take another look at the replay here. And uh, you can kind of see by the reaction right there, you are absolutely right. I think he wanted a little bit more right there and kind of thinking that one through. But you get two runs. Remember, it's the best run that counts as we take a look back here for David Gontiak. Dropping in with a 360 double bar uh, spin. He wanted to send it back the other way. Yeah, maybe? I think he definitely wanted to spin the bars a couple more times. Into the cash roll, into a triple tail whip. You know what's crazy? David rides both mountain bikes and BMX. He is incredible on both. Oh, yeah, he is an absolute beast in the mountain bike world as well. But, yeah, you can see on that replay, he wanted more in that first hit right there. So that's going to put him down there in the low 70s with the 73.66. So uh, it's going to have to come down to run number two, possibly, if you're going to get on that Nitro at World Games podium here in BMX triple hits. Taking a look at Chris James right here from just down the road out of Gold Coast as he loves riding big bulls and going as high as he can. In addition to being a pro rider, he's also a butcher as well. He's multifaceted, Todd. Dropping in with a backflip no foot can can. Haven't seen that one yet. Into a front flip no hander. Land a little flat and finishing it off with a Superman secret. Shaking his head there. Yeah, that first one was weird. We had to see another camera angle on that one, but he, he definitely looks like he wanted more by the reaction there, Todd. Yeah, Jimmy, as I said, uh, James throwing down massive tricks. Didn't quite get what he wanted, I think, but that flip no foot can there on the first jump into a massive front flip no hander. Landed a little bit low. Not getting quite too set up there on the last one into a Superman seat grab. And that's what's so gnarly about this chorus. I mean, if you don't get that perfect landing, that next hit is coming at you super fast. So if something goes wrong, you've really got to think fast. And a lot of these guys don't have brakes, so it's super hard for them to slow down if they're carrying too much speed through. Well, that'll slide him in just out of podium contention for now. 61.33 puts him in that number four spot. So it's wall work. Godziak, Hilder, you're one, two, three as of right now. But again, this is just the opening round out of two as we get set to bring in Sydney's Brandon Lupos, two-time X Games medalist. He owns one gold, one silver. Both of those are in BMX dirt. Brandon Lupos is certainly a contender to take out first place for this contest. He has some massive tricks. Also was a part of the Australian BMX Olympic team, unfortunately having a big injury which set him back, but he's back and ready to send it. It's also your Nitro World Games 2017 BMX best trick. Silver medalist as he's coming down that rolling for his first of two. Starting off with a flip triple whip on the first hit into a 1080, unfortunately putting a foot down and just making it over that last jump. Unfortunately having a little bit of trouble there with that 1080, not getting quite what he wanted, but expecting big things on his last run. Again, it was just kind of a slow, just super casual rotation on that 1080 run right there. Just last second I had to take that foot up, maybe to slow down. Yeah, spinning tricks are kind of weird, like the more when you, when you carry a lot of speed, your rotation does get thrown off a bit, and it looks like these guys are carrying a, a lot of speed into that second jump. So again, it is best run that counts. So again, looking to round two there for Brandon Lupus as we bring in Placentia, California's Mr. Pat Casey, five-time X Games medalist. He owns one gold, three silver, one bronze, including a BMX Dirt gold medal in his own backyard when they hosted X Games BMX Dirt and Park and park and dirt best trick in his backyard last season. One of the best styles in BMX. It's pretty much a dream to have X Games in your backyard. 
especially to take home the win. Here we go. Let's see what he puts on. This guy's all about crazy rotations and big combo moves. Pad dropping in, starting off with a 360 Superman C grab into a 360 bar spin tail whip, getting set up in the last into a cash roll. Same deal. I don't think it's quite exactly what he wanted, but at least he put a run down and got a score on the board. So right now that high mark to beat is an 87.66, if I'm not mistaken, as we take a look back at Pat Casey's first outing here. Look at the extension. Massive 360 Super C into that 360 bar spin tail whip. Landing perfect. Is that a 360 bar spin to tail whip? Into a cash roll. As I said, Jimmy, I think he's just stoked to get a run down. At least he's got a score on the board so he can throw down something massive on these last runs. Yeah, and it's kind of the same boat for these guys as we were talking about earlier with Skate Vert with the rain this whole week. It's not like these guys got a ton of practice out here. So with the sunny conditions today and just getting out here and making some stuff happen. So that'll put him in that number two spot right there. Pat Casey checks in with an 81.33 to slide him into that number two position. So that'll bump Boy Dilder out into that number four spot. So for right now, out of Newcastle, UK, this is Kieran Riley, very explosive comp rider who's been making waves on the BMX scene since he was a kid. He has a very heavy YouTube presence. This guy is constantly putting up new edits and content, Todd. Yeah, it's pretty hard these days to do a trick no one's done before, but Kieran just constantly throwing down something new. Got a 360 double tail whip to bar spin, 360 double bar spin into a 720 whip on the last jump. That was a lot going on in that run right there. That was a good run there from Kieran. Kieran is just such an explosive rider, has so much power, and just has some of the biggest tricks in BMX. 360 double tail whip to bar spin. And the late bar spin as well. 360 triple bar spin, possibly wanting a fourth one there. One, two, three. I think he might have wanted to go for that fourth one, Jimmy. I think so, too. Looking at the body language right there, I think he wanted to throw the quad bar spin. It's crazy, too. Just spin him, catch, spin, catch. That was unreal. Kieran can spin like no other guy out there. He's just, his combinations are just wild. So again, working off of a 100-point scale out here today in BMX Triple Hit, you get two runs that is the better of your two runs that count. So far, we haven't seen anybody jump up into the 90s yet. We've had a couple of scores up there in the 80s. We will have to wait and see. Your judges are uh, obviously talking that one over as we have not seen the score populate next to uh, Kieran's name here. So what's it going to be? An 88.83. So... That should put him in that number one spot for right now. So nicely done there, Todd, by Kieran Riley. Yeah, he'll be stoked with that one, Jimmy, especially being on, on top at the moment. Putting a score, good, good score on the board. So getting ready to go back up to the top. There he is. We're looking for J2. They were zooming in on Logan Martin right there. Your X Games 2022 bronze in Mega Park, and he got a silver in dirt. Also a fixture on the Nitro Circus Live Tour. This is Jay Tui. Joey's massive front flip, bike flip there into a flip. What do we got on the last? And a quadruple tail whip to finish off. As you saw, Jimmy just landed a little bit low and then set him up not tight quite well on that second jump. That's all right, Jay, it's best run counts. You got another one still to come, but yeah, he wanted more. He just got a little bit of a wonky landing here. That one looked like oh, it was gonna get away from him. Yeah, he definitely had to reach out extra, extra far for that one, but I think he quite possibly may have wanted a double on that second one. I mean, Bump flip, bike flip, no, nothing at the same time. Yeah, the way he tucked into that, he was thinking about that double. I'll walk that plank with you as well. But again, it's best run that counts, so we'll see him change that up in round number two right there. You see how extended he was? I, I thought that thing was getting away from him. When he I, does that, I watch it time and time again, and I'm always amazed about how he's able to grab that thing and pull it back under him at the last second. Yeah, there's not too many guys out here doing that one. Our Willie was the first guy to throw that one down, and then Tui came in and started throwing variations into it. You can see right there as he's waiting for the react shot. He's thinking about that one. But again, uh, two runs, best run counts. He's going to shake it off. Going to get another crack at it right there. 
See yep. what he checks in with a 73 flat here. That's good enough to put you in that number five spot right now. So you need to be in the 80s as of right now. If you get to that top three, Pat Casey sitting on that bumble podium spot right now with an 81.33. But this thing is far from over. We still have some uh, names on the start list here and another round of runs. Taking a look at your BMX Park Olympic gold medalist right here. This is none other than Logan Martin. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a wild run. Logan just has an endless amount of tricks. Dropping in, what have we got? We're starting off with a flip bar spin to no hander, into a 720 double bar spin on the second jump, into an op opposite quadruple tail whip. He's stoked with that one. <laughs> I was going to say, did you see the smile on his face as he rode across the resi over the, after that last hit? Man, that's great. <laughs> not, not, not many people are even doing quadruple tail whips, and Logan just did that one opposite. He, he can literally throw tailwinds both ways. Like, it's, it's hard to tell which is normally what's opposite. But huge backflip bar spin, no hander there. 720 double bar spin. Oh, my goodness. So much height. Yeah, take another look here. This was another shot of the first hit. It's just so precise with everything. It's just so dialed. It's so methodical. And again, going oppo with the whips over the last hit there. That was a that was a very good run from Logan. He's definitely stoked with that one. That's uh, I think without a doubt going to put him on the, on the top place there. Okay, so here we go. Do we crack into the 90s on this one? And we do almost at the mid 90s right there at 94.66. Logan Martin finds himself in the top spot here in the latter half of round number one. So it's Martin, Riley, and Wallwork here, one, two, three. So then a bump Pat Casey down to that number four spot for right now. So with two riders left to go in the run order here, things are definitely heating up here in the latter half of round number one, Todd. Out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, this is Justin Dowell taking a silver medal in BMX Park uh, at this year's X Games. Just missed the podium in BMX Park best trick. He had to settle for fourth. Justin has some super quick bar spins. We got a flip triple bar spin there into a 360 tail whip, went a little low into a 360. That's called a Twix, where you do a tail whip and you throw the bars at the exact same time. That trick just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, when you see that, you have to see that one in slow motion to fully appreciate what in the world is going on there. He has such fast bar spins. I, that was insane. I mean, that went around so fast. Land enough. Little sideways on that 360 bar spin. But still managing to get that last trick. And a 360 bar spin tailwind, that's called the Twigs. Yeah, I mean, he's completely off the bike at that point in what? the middle of that rotation. I think he's got a flat tire, Jimmy, so he's maybe just from landing oh. a little bit sideways there. Well, fortunately. Yeah, I think he's pointing his ear because the with the tire blowout, those things. Oh, I mean, you can speak from experience on this one. Those things. Uh, it sounds like a shot out of a cannon when that goes off. So that one probably blew out the uh, eardrum temporarily right there. But taking a look at our standings here, Logan Martin, that top spot, only rider to score in the 90s as of right now. But we still have one more rider to go here. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat Logan's score there. That's a high, a high, high score. What are we? Are going to explode? Oh. So trying to see where the tire actually blew out, was able to ride out into the airbag right there, but you can see him tapping that air right there, and uh, that's never fun when you're that close to the old uh, tire blowout. That'll, that's, that's definitely one you'll remember for a while. Last guy to go in the run order here out of Corona, California. This guy is another one who's got style for miles, and he's a bit of a tech wizard when it comes to combo tricks. This is Daniel Sandoval, your overall champion on the 2022 Monster Energy BMX Triple Challenge. I think we're going to be in for a treat here, Jimmy. Daniel is so consistent. We've got a 360 oppo double downside tail whip into a 360 bar spin. Oppo tail whip bar spin to 360. Oh, I can't man. even keep up. Did you see that reaction right there? Wow. Rightly so, just throws that one in at the end. What is this going to do to the standings? Wow, I, that's going to be a tough one, Jimmy. I, I think that might have it. That was, that was wild. I, I couldn't even keep up with the tricks. He's stoked on that one. Yeah, I, I think I think that one's gonna take first place. 
So again, Logan Martin sits in that top spot with what I believe is a 94.66, but I mean, look at the mechanics of this run here from Daniel Sandoval. Three ball spin, tail whip to ball spin. 360 double downside tail whip there. Three bar down whip to bar. That's so many tricks. So dialed. Daniel's so consistent. <laughs> the best was the reaction out of that yeah. last hit right there. And he just looked just looks up at the fans and just throws that hand up and claims it. But yeah, got a little, came in a little hot on Ryder's right side right there, but rides that one out. That's a make, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna be interesting, Jimmy. And at wow. 96.33, wow. so at the end of round number one, we have a new leader here in BMX triple hit here at the Nitro World Games. What a finish to cap off round number one there for Daniel Sandoval. So it's Sandoval, Martin, and Riley, your one, two, three, at 96.33, a 94.66, and an 88.83 for now. However, we've still got one more round of runs to go. It is still up for grabs. We've got plenty more BMX triple hit when we come back to Nitro World Games here at the Suncorp Stadium. Nitro World Games is brought to you by LEGO City. Ready, build, race. Queensland.com forward slash events. Be part of the action at Queensland's live events. And by City Beach Australia. Your number one destination for the latest skate, street, surf, and fashion. What's going on guys, it's Logan Martin here. Me and my family are spending the day up in Brisbane at the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary. Come join us for some fun wildlife experiences. Do you like it? Is it your first time playing with Koala? here was holding the koala. I've never held a koala before. Um, I've patted one but never held it. I would definitely bring my family here again. Noah had so much fun. Luna loved the kangaroos. She loved checking all the animals out as well. So I'll definitely bring the whole family back. So there you go. Logan Martin and the family taking in some of the sights and sounds here in the greater Brisbane area. I mean, so many great things to see and do. I've had a blast. I've been here for almost two weeks now. Todd is down there at Gold Coast for uh, Nitro Junior Games. And just, uh, what a beautiful city here, right on the Brisbane River. And I mean, this stadium is absolutely epic. You got over 52,500 seats here across three different levels for these fans to pack in out here for this BMX triple hit presented by Brisbane, Queensland. And Logan, who you just saw there at the Koala Sanctuary, finds himself in the number two spot, followed by Kieran Riley in number three. But it was Daniel Sandoval, last guy to go in the run order, that sits in the top spot for now here with a 96.33. However, we get to do this all over one more time. It is two rounds of runs, and it is the best run that counts. That's what's going to get you on the podium out here at the Nitro World Games. Jimmy Coleman here in the booth alongside Todd Mine calling the action. But, uh, you know, we saw some guys having a rough go there with some of their lines uh, kind of over rotating a little bit, a couple slide outs. And some guys wanting to throw some extra moves into the mixer. We go back up to the top of the order once again with Jacob Thiem. Jacob starting out with a 360 bar spin straight into that quadruple whip mid set, finishing off with a 720 bar spin. Unfortunately, not getting quite exactly what he wanted there on the first hit. He might have to take his first score. Mess up the first we'll see, yeah, that 44.33. It's got him in that number 12 spot for now. Yeah, I think he wanted a little bit more than that 360 bar spin, Jimmy, but that quad, quad whip mid set, to do that trick alone is just incredible. And to be doing it mid set, you have to be dialed, dialed at it to be able to do that. 720 bar spin, still gonna be better than his first run. I believe. We are about to find out here again. First round run there was a 44.33. It is the better of your two runs that determine our final rankings out here today. 
our top two riders in the 90s and then our rounding up the podium. There you go. Yeah. Bumps up to 69.66 right there. So that'll bump him up two spots. He was in 12th pre-run. Pre so that'll wedge him in there between uh, Hilder and James there. So not the one that he wanted, but still bumps up a couple of spots right there. As we get set to bring in Boyd Hilder for his second and final attempt. Currently finds himself in that number nine spot. Boyd started off with a massive flip bar spin into that Superman seat grab one-hander. Doing a tail whip X up on that last jump. You know, having two runs, Jimmy, and only one counting, you know, it does does put a lot more pressure on, on the guys than usual. Well, as you said earlier, I mean, this guy, he's got the street savvy. I mean, he's got this gnarly mix of gnarly riding and technical and extremely consistent. He really shines in the street category, but getting out here and boosting the BMX triple hit. Cannonball one-hander there. That tail whip X up. Almost looks like a bit of a Superman there as well. Boyd's always smiling. He's going to stick with that first run score, that 68. Going to get the throw in, so that's going to keep him in that number nine position. So we get set to bring it back in. Jake Walwork. Now, he was in the top spot for a while, slowly slid down the podium. He finds himself just on the outside, looking in as of right now with that 87.66, Todd. Starting off with a massive double flip no-hander. We haven't seen that one yet. Front flip, bar spin to no-hander. Into a front flip tail with that is an unreal run from Jake. He is stoked. How in the world did that wow. just happen? Because he looked like he got a wacky landing coming out of that first hit right there. And that was a heck of a save. We'll have to see it again on the replay. But man, you can see him patting his chest on that one. And rightly so. Watch this. So the double back flip no hander on the first set. Do you see the wobble yeah. and the flat going to yeah, that second Jake hit? Always makes it happen. He always throws down, has the biggest tricks out there. I, I'm glad I'm not a judge, Jimmy. How did he tuck into that late no-hander out of that? I mean, he wobbled across the flat and still had the presence of mind to do that. That's absolutely incredible. Jake is going to be over the moon with that run. And as I said, Jimmy, having the two runs, you know you kind of have, have to throw down as big as you can. You can't kind of give it you know, kind of a, a half kind of effort because you have the best guys in the world out he's here. He's into the 90s, Todd, a 91.33. He's over gonna he's gonna overtake Kieran Riley, puts him back in the podium. He sits on the bubble spot. How about that run right there by Jake Walwork? So now your top three runs all in the 90s. It's a 96.33, a 94.66, and now a 91.33. So it's heating up here in round two as we get set to bring back in Ryan Williams. I wonder if we'll see that double flip 360 on the last jump again. But starting off with that massive double flip, landing a little bit low. Front flip, no hander, getting set up. Will he pull it? Oh, just back tire heavy a little on that one. It ends up looping out right there. So close for Ryan. That's unfortunate. I know he's going to be upset about that one. Now well, he's still got best trick coming up. He's already found himself on the podium and best trick on the scooter side of things. And again, uh, just always a great attitude and a smile on his face. A double flip on the first set. Setting up with the front flip no-hander. That's his setup trick, Jimmy. And then that double back flip 360. Just overcooking it just a little bit. Well, he was your 2000 and 2000, 2016 and 2017 BMX Best Trick winner here at the Nitro World Games. And uh, we still have that one coming up a little bit later on, but he's going to stick with that first run score here in BMX Triple Hit presented by Brisbane, Queensland. Josh Matthews looking to bump up from that first round score there. Had a little slip up there, finds himself down there at the bottom of the pack with a 25 flat for now here. Starting off with a double flip again. Will he get that 1080? Yep. Oh, there he pulls go. it. Pulls it, puts it down easy here. Into a cash two. roll. Wow. Uh, that yeah. looked effortless. It was like he wasn't even trying. I thought he was going to do a 720. He was spinning that slow, but he brings it around. Manages to make it to the last <laughs> jump with the cash roll. He's Are you kidding me? There's so much pressure, Jimmy, dropping in, knowing that you've only got one more shot and you've got to put a score down on the board. Well, say goodbye to that score at 25 from the first round. Look at this. And I'll just land this now. Just pulling it around. Seems a, a normal thing to be everyone double flipping that first set. Into that 1080 there. 
with a cash roll to finish, pushing over that jump. That's a good thing about that trick, Jimmy, is you carry a lot of forward momentum. So after landing that little bit lower, you can push through with that cash roll. Yeah, we'll see, like, maybe a little bit high on the knuckle on that one, but again, that 25 is going to go in. 89.83, that gets him out of the bottom of the pack and puts him in the number four spot. He's not going to jump up into podium contention there. However, jumping from the bottom to number four, that is a big, big run there when it was needed by Josh Matthews. Again, look at that amazing overhead aerial shot right there, looking through the opening of the roof here at the Suncorp Stadium. David Godziak, he's got a 73.66. You saw that he wanted more in that first round. What's he got here in round number two, Todd? David starting off with a cork 1080, into a triple tail whip mid-set, into a cash roll, see Jimmy pushing wow. through. He just slingshotted that cash roll at the end, and definitely a little more fired up at the end of that run than we saw in round number one. Well, that was a wild 1080. But pulling that on the first set is, is difficult, super difficult. Cork 1080 there. Landed perfect into a triple tail whip. Little low, but then pushing through with that cash roll. Triple tail whip. Just making it over with that cash roll. Seems like everyone's putting it together, Jimmy. I, you know, it's, it's just that energy when things start happening and everybody starts feeding, up, feeding off of one another. See this, and that vibe, you can feel it in the air. Yeah, doing a 1080 on that first set is is, uh, is very risky. Just put down the cash roll, goes right the bike into the airbag. You didn't like that camera angle? Take another look at it right here, and that reaction by David Godziak says it all right there. This is gonna be interesting. And a 90.66 for him. That's gonna get him into the 90s, but that is not going to be enough to overtake Jake Walwick, so that'll put him in for so he will be on the outside looking in, but again, bumps up into that number four position as of right now. So your top four scores here creeping all the way down into the 90s, and it is far from over. Still, lots of riders left to go here. You've got Chris James high up the top of the rolling, currently sitting down there with a 61.33 in that number 12 spot time. James starting it up with a massive 360 backflip. Front flip, no hander, getting set off the last. Double back flip, no hander, unfortunately, not quite having enough speed. Yeah, just kind of opened up in that one. That slowed down the rotation right there, and he's going to have to use that as a throw away, throw away run. So much speed, so much height. Chris goes so high. That front flip, no hander, into a double flip, no hander, and unfortunately just turning out of it. But walking out of a double flip, in my books is always a good thing. So here we go, Brandon Lupos due up next. That first run didn't pan out. He finds himself at the bottom of the pack here with that 34.33. Again, the scores in the 90s extend all the way down to that number four position. Second final attempt right here for Brandon Lupos out of Sydney. Start with that flip triple whip again, landing perfect into a 1080. Cash roll, no hand up, oh. that was... And again, look at that reaction by Brandon. So <laughs> the trend God. continues here in the second round of runs, Todd. Man, this is, this is gonna be a tough one to judge. Yeah, the judging booth right now is a hot seat. That's a tough spot to be in. They're earning their keep here today. I'm glad I don't have that job. <laughs> it's Massive. a lot safer being here in the booth, Todd. Oh, way safer. That 1080 there, just pulling it around. Flip triple whip, so perfect. 1080, and then getting set up perfectly for that last shot. Yeah, Cash roll, no hander, the first time we've seen that one. I believe it was the 10 that did him in in that first run. Had to dab a foot, but pulls it off clean here and then takes the hands off in the cash roll in run number two. The question is, what's it gonna be on the score? Remember the 90s creep down into that number four position. He's sitting in 14th pre-run as we await the score. Man, the second round is just going off the rails as of right now. But, you know, it's, that's kind of the trend. I mean, that's, that's just what happens every time we host one of these Nitro World Games events. So Daniel Sandoval sitting in that top spot, followed by Logan Martin 
as of right now. So Brandon Lupos is going to check in with the 92.66. That'll put him in podium contention. He's in the number three spot. So he bumps Jake Walworth down to fourth. So now it's Sandoval, Martin, Lupos, your one, two, three. So now the 90s creep all the way down to fifth place. And it is still far from over as we get set to bring in five-time X Games medalist Pat Casey. He owns a gold, three silver, and one bronze in those events. Pat starting off with that 360 Superman C grab again. 360 basket, double tail whip this, this time into a Castrol oh. tail whip. Oh, and he hangs all it away. Everyone is putting it together right now. The trend continues here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Talk us through this run, Todd. That 360 Superman C grab Indy. Massive extension into that 360 bar spin, double tail whip mid set. Into that cash roll tail whip. That's the first time we've seen that today as well. Everyone is bringing out the bangers. Cash roll, tail whip and stomping it, just holding on. <laughs> With him, he, you could see the reaction as well. <laughs> Looking like oh a little God. wobbly right away from that one. I don't know, either way, he rode that thing into the airbag. That is a make right there. So he was in ninth place pre-run. He was down there in the low 80s. He had an 81.33. So again, the judges are in the hot seat over. I don't even know where the judges are sitting right now, but I can feel the heat coming out of that booth right now, Todd. Yeah, it's definitely taken a little bit longer to get those scores coming through. And he's into the 90s, a 92.16, a 92.16. That's how crazy this competition is right now. That's not even good enough to get you on the podium. So now the 90s are all the way down into that number six, six spot right there. But again, that was a huge second run right there for Pat Casey. We get set to bring in Kieran Riley. He was in the top three. He was sitting in that bubble spot for a while, and he now finds himself all the way down in that number eight spot with an 88.83. Starting off with a three, 360 double tail whip to double bar spin. Unfortunately, just missing his bars on that second one there. Yeah, that right hand just slipped right off, and he took a heck of a knock on that one as he took it straight to the chest on the flat right there. But he bounces up quickly from that one and uh, up and walking away under his own power there. So Daniel Sandoval at the end of round one just blew it up with that 96.33. Logan Martin had a monster first run with a 94.66. Then you got Brandon Lupos here in round two puts himself in podium contention. And again, the 90s just keep creeping as we welcome back in Jay Tui. Tui starting with that front flip, by flip, double flip mid set, switching his feet there into a quad whip. I don't know if you saw Jimmy, but, but uh, Tui actually switches his feet around for his tail whip. So He's got to land that double flip, quickly change and rotate his feet around, and then kick that quad whip. So looking a little bit more happier at the end of that run, but again, look at how far away the bike gets from him on that first hit, and then tucks into the double. And then finishing off with that quad whip. That was a solid run there from Tui. Front flip, bike flip. That one looked like he had a little bit more control than the first one. Spinning that double flip. And then into that quad whip. Yeah, that first one, he was so stretched out, just trying to reach out. I, didn't, I don't even know how he managed to get his hands on the grips and pull that one back under. But a lot more manageable here. And taking a look over the last hit right there. He got back wheel dabbed a little bit on that knuckle he got a little wobbly on the landing but he hangs on and rides into the airbag on that one he had a 73 flat there in run number one that had him in that number 10 spot yeah ch changing your feet around and riding that way is is hard in itself it, it feels super uncomfortable but too he's always cha changing his feet around mid runs and so you see your current leader there, that's Daniel Sandoval looking at the video wall there. 
the end of the stadium trying to see what happens there in the replays and what happens with the score at Sandoval Martin and Lupos your one at two three as we await the score for Mr. Tui here again it was a 73 flat pre-run he finds himself in that number 10 spot as of right now we have three riders left to go in this competition and it's going to be a 90 for Jay as well and again the <laughs> 90s all the way down to seventh place yeah yeah it's it it's crazy uh to be doing these runs and not not making podium so what that means now with three riders left to go two of them in the top three there's only one man on the outside looking in that can shake up our standings you've got logan martin coming your way next he was your leader and then at the end of round one daniel sandoval best him can he trade back the favor here on this second and final attempt starting out with that front flip bike flip as well into a 720 triple bar oh, spin. Oh my gosh. Into a barrel roll whip. I, I think happened? he just got a little bit squirrely there with the bars, but I know he's stoked to be rolling away because missing your bars on a 720 like that, it doesn't normally end quite well, but Logan, unfortunately, not quite getting exactly what he wants. But out here, you have to be throwing down your, your hardest and biggest tricks because it is tough out here. 720 double bar. Oh, oh, he never spun that third bar spin. That was a heck of a save oh. right there. We didn't catch that at real time speed, but wow. Uh, that's unfortunate. I mean, that's just pure determination right there. A perfect front flip by flip. Makes it look way too easy. Seven bar bar, and then just getting caught up on that third bar spin. We can see it again, Jimmy, that double bar spin, and I think it. Just, just didn't go, and, and then he just cranked it back. But he's still got it. He's still in second place. Can't be mad with that. So he'll stick with that first run score of 94.66. So he'll stick with that. So again, Sandoval, Martin, and Lupos, your one, two, three. We have two riders left to go. Justin Dowell coming up next. He is on the outside looking in. And then Daniel Sandoval, your current leader, is going to take us out of this competition here. The question is, is Justin Dowell going to be able to upset the standings? It comes down to this last run here for Justin Dowell. Uh, flip triple bar spin again. 360 bar spin, tail whip bar spin. 360 twigs. Oh, the hangs on. I thought he's going to ride right up the side of the... The resi right there, but he hangs on. He is stoked to put that run down. 84 flat pre one pre runs that has him in that number 10 spot. Flip, triple bar spin. So much time. 360 bar spin, tail whip to bar spin into that 360 twig, which is a bar spin at the same time as the tail whip. That trick does not make any sense to me. And you can't, you don't appreciate the landing at that point from that camera angle because he was going riders left. It looked like he was going to ride up the side of that thing, but he hangs on there. So we'll see what happens here. He had that 84 flat. What do you think, Todd? Block that plank. Where do you think this is going to slide him in right here? I unfortunately don't. Build a little drama. Yeah, I, I don't, unfortunately don't think this is going to bump Sandville or uh, unfortunately make it onto the podium. Jimmy, the, the, what these guys are throwing down, it's just, it's absolutely incredible. You know, th these tricks are, are really kind of up until five years ago, you know, everyone's kind of got their own specific trick, but now everyone can do absolutely everything and having three jumps, you've got to bring out your biggest tricks. Well, the score taking a while to come in here, so the judge is obviously having a discussion about that one with one rider left to go. If you're just joining us here, it's BMX Triple Hit presented by Brisbane, Queensland. Daniel Sandoval, our current leader, waiting up on top of that rolling to take his final run. So Justin's going to crack into the 90s, wow. and he will jump onto that podium. He overtakes Brandon Lupos, so it's... Daniel Sandoval, Logan Martin, and Justin Dowell, your one, two, three. Why? Because with one rider left to go, he's sitting in that number one spot. So he is going to get a victory lap out here today. But how about that run there by Justin Dowell there to overtake Brandon Lupos and edge him out to get on the podium here? Yeah, this is going to be interesting to see if Daniel sends it or just uh, takes a nice, cruisy run. He's waving the hand there. 
knows he's taking home that first place. 360 down whip into a 360 and it finishing off. Oh, unfortunately just missing coming back around there, but he's taken, taken home the win, Jimmy. Again, last guy in the run order. We saw that monster run in round one by Logan, Logan Martin, that 94.66, and then Daniel going last, comes up and throws that big score down. It's enough to get the win out here. Let's send it down to Caroline Buchanan. We are down here with the winner. Those scores were so tight all the way to the line. What does it feel like? How do you put this moment into words? You've never won here before. Oh, it's amazing. You know, a lot of hard work and uh, just happy. And what about, what was the key to executing? This isn't a skate park. There's three jumps, three opportunities to score. What did it take to execute that run? For me, it was just stay consistent, stay in my line, and um, do as hard tricks as I possibly can. Everyone, give it up for Daniel. He is your 2022 Nitro World Games Triple Champion. Yeah, and as we said, you know, at the top of this first round, I mean, he's just that kind of like, he's just got a deep arsenal of tricks. He's all about the combo moves, and he's the kind of guy that would really will practice that consistency. It's the smoothness, it's, it's the style. It never looks jerky or mechanical and whatnot. But he really, I mean, to talk about the scope of this event, I mean, you've got to put together three big bangers in a row. And as you've said several times out here, I mean, they've all got to be big and they've got to be perfect. Yeah, those tricks out there were, without a doubt, the biggest tricks you'll see in BMX. Daniel is absolutely stoked. He puts in so much hard work and uh, he, he really deserves this one, Jimmy. So we haven't contested BMX triple hit here at the Nitro World Games since 2017. And now Daniel Sandoval etches his name into the Nitro World Games history books by walking out of here with the win, Logan Martin in second and Justin Dowell taking home third. But let's take a look back at some of the highlights as to how we got to our podium here inside Suncorp Stadium. Yeah, Jimmy, that, that was a, a wild contest. Again, I'll say it, I'm glad I'm not a judge. But Logan with that 720 double bar spin, fortunately not quite getting the three on the second run. But that opposite quad whip, I think he might only be the only guy in the world doing that one. Daniel with that 360 double downside tail whip, 360 bar spin, down whip bar spin to 360 whip. I, I can't even keep up with this, and I, and I ride, Jimmy. <laughs> the reaction just says it all right there. By the way, we can't forget we got the LEGO Innovation Award. The judges have an extra duty to do out here. They've got to determine one trick or one run, if you will, uh, that goes out to someone that's really pushing the levels of progression out here. And we'll find out who's getting that LEGO Innovation Award once we do uh, our podium presentation. And uh, my eyes spy right there. Some dudes on some dirt bikes right now. We've got uh, freestyle motocross coming up here in just a little bit. We got best trick for those guys as well. We still got BMX best trick coming up as well. I get to call that with you again here later on. Yeah. You fired up about that one? I, I can't wait for that one. You know, riding riding Nitro Circus all the time and having this, this massive jump, you know, we're seeing things that are just absolutely mind blowing and, and I can't wait for best trick. I definitely know there's a few guys out there with some, some uh, big gems to come out. We've got plenty more surprises still to come out here tonight. Right now, we check in with Micah Kranz with our podium presentation. Brisbane, Australia, can I get some noise for that amazing triples contest? Wasn't that great? Unreal, as you can see, our freestyle motocrossers are getting themselves situated and practicing. But we gotta do this award ceremony. In third place, from the United States, can I get some noise for Justin Dowell? In second place, your Olympic gold medalist. Make some noise for Logan Martin! And our winner from the United States of America. Make some noise for Daniel Sandoval! Make some noise for our podium, please. And our LEGO City Innovation Award for an opposite quadruple tail whip. Make some noise for Logan Martin. Winning our 
our LEGO City Innovation Award. Make some noise for BMX Triples. Well, taking one more look here at Logan Martin in that LEGO Innovation Award. Todd, just talk through what exactly, explain to the fans watching at home why the judges gave him that. Well, doing a quadruple tail whip is, is something on its on its own, but doing it opposite is, is absolutely incredible. He's the only one, I, I'm pretty certain he's the only one doing that opposite quadruple whip. So that doesn't surprise me at all for him to take it home. <laughs>